Hey there. Today, I want to talk to you about efficiency and process design, I guess. That sounds scary, but it's not actually. Um, my first real job, my first like corporate job out of school, I, I had this boss who would, so I, let me back up. So we worked in Excel quite a bit in this company and uh, my Excel skills were fine, but I had just come out of school and they don't really teach you how to use Excel in school exactly. Um, they teach you the basics, but nothing fancy. So I had got to this company um, and this boss of mine had, he was an Excel genius. He was a guru. He knew everything. Well, not everything, but um, so all of his files were super complicated and they had multiple tabs and macros and they all like work together and it was basically magic when I got there. And so this guy had taught me how to use Excel and you know, he'd teach me the ins and outs of his files and I'd build my own files and that kind of thing. But as I was learning this, I would be, he'd give me something to do and I would go and I would start doing it. And then after a little while, he would come over because we sort of shared a little cubicle. Um, he would come over and he'd sort of watch me work for a bit, which was not ideal. And then he'd be like, you know, there's a better way to do that, right? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Because if I did know, I would do it that way. Like, oh, that used to drive me nuts. Um, but he, in asking me that all the time, he instilled this thought process of like, like, is there a better way to do this? And anytime I was working in Excel specifically, I would think that, but it started to expand to other things. And now I am obsessed with process and getting really efficient. I hate doing things manually. I hate doing repetitive, especially manual tasks. And in my journey of trying to be the most efficient person ever, I have come across three things that really are the, um, are the thing that you can be looking for when you're looking to be more efficient, especially in your business, but this kind of works everywhere. So the first thing is recurring tasks. Are you doing things over and over again? Or do you have something that you need to be doing um, in a recurring, like kind of like laundry, but I don't have a, a good process for laundry. Um, but I'm thinking of like receipts. If, you, if you're constantly having to enter receipts, then you, you, know, you can take a picture, send it to your bookkeeping, system like that's a way to automate entering receipts because it's something you have to do all the time so number one recurring tasks look for those there's probably a way to automate it number two tasks which require a high amount of manual effort so if you are having to i don't know we'll keep with bookkeeping if you're having to type in every line on your statement every month or you're having to key in all of your receipts every month, that's a high amount of manual work. And there is an, there's a way to automate that, especially now with the, like, the blow up of apps and, and all of that stuff. If you're doing something really manual like that, there's probably an app for it. Or in the case of bookkeeping, uh, you can connect your bank account to your bookkeeping software, so then it just talks to each other. Or I should say, your bank talks to the bookkeeping software. It doesn't usually go the other way. Um, so then your bank transactions just go right in your bookkeeping software, and you don't have to key it in, which is great from a time-saving perspective, but also from a clerical perspective, you reduce the uh, amount of errors that are possible. And the third thing is duplicating work. Are there pieces of your business where you do something and then you have to do it again, like over here? Like, for example, if you have a CRM and you're entering your new client's information, do you then have to go to your bookkeeping software and enter it again? 
that's a great place to go looking for a way to automate that. Can you connect your CRM to your bookkeeping software so that every time you can you create a new contact in your CRM, it just creates one in the accounting software. And then when you go to invoice, it's already right there. Um, can you create a template for emails that you send all the time? Um, can you find a way, I'm gonna get into details here, which is, I, I don't wanna get sucked into a rabbit hole. I love this stuff. So if you would like my eyeballs on your process or if you have questions about processes, then definitely get in touch. I would love to chat about you or love to chat about this with you. I have left my booking link in the comments. Comments, it's somewhere. Comments, you'll find it. I left my booking link. Definitely uh, book 30 minutes with me because I'd love to help you out on this. I will see you tomorrow.